Good morning, it's Dr. Bahadur. We, over the years, have found uh, our teenagers to be problematic. Is that really true? Are they problematic? Or is it both or us? So, I find that many, many of us, many parents out there, we try to live our lives through our children. Let me give you an example. We want them to follow a vocation, a career, a job that we like or we pick, giving them little or no choice in some cases. Well, when and if they love and passionate about something, generally people excel. Look at the entrepreneurial world. People that do what they love not only excel, they tend to make far more money than those forced to do it. So the first one is, we are trying to live through our children. Live your life and let them live their life. You, we, we can't control them. What I would suggest, we as parents, what we do is first align ourselves. Align ourselves who we are. Know who we are. Vibrationally creating an energy, attracting what is it that we want from our children. We want good behavior, we want them to achieve, we want them to be successful, we don't want them to do drugs, smoking, recklessness, yes. So the alignment not only with us, but with who we are, but also then creating the energy to attract them like to like. We have no control over them. And as much as we think we do, and we can't control their behavior. I know many parents uh, will, for example, put trackers in their cars, on, on the devices, and track them. This doesn't work. If you put a tracker in the car, they can just park the car in another wall and go elsewhere. They can lie. And therefore, or rather, you have an open relationship, an honest relationship, where people don't lie, because as we know, when you are lying, it then creates stress, de-stress, and stress creates sickness, and we don't want that for them, or for ourselves. And we react based on who we are. For example, how we are feeling and what's going on, not actually reacting to what they've done or doing. Let's use an example of results in an exam or they brought home and they performed extremely poorly. And because you had a bad day, a bad moment, you're not aligned, you've lots of pain in your life or in your events, you then react out of control out of alignment and then that reaction is based on you and not them because had you been in alignment in absolute pleasure with who you are you would then be of the same mind calm cool collected and then find out what went wrong maybe it was a lecturer maybe it was a teacher maybe it was just the child is your child is going through something and needs intervention so this leads us to depending on other people for the way we feel. So, when someone else behaves the way we want, then we are like, wow, we're all happy, jolly. Really? So, you are dependent, your feeling, your joy, the way you feel right this moment is dependent on someone else, your environment. And that's what you must be aware of, that don't let others, the way others feel, behave, determine how you feel. So when you align with who you are, really with who you are, with your source, and then you, then you approach, and then you approach the situation, the discussion, and then you can approach it because you're aligned, you're feeling good, you're feeling good, you're in equanimity, you balance, 
and then you're going and saying, this is the situation, you're analyzing the solution situation, and that feeling gives you power. And it'll give the relationship power and respect. Respect is earned, so even with the children, they are their own independent individuals, their own minds, their own power, blessed accordingly. So rather teach with action and they're not there to be controlled, guide conversations. Thank you so much.